Hey guys, Abs here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can perform searches on the internet in a very different way, in a way that we can use to our advantage. And I'm not going to be showing you how you can use your normal search engines such as Google, Yahoo and Bing, um, because they don't really allow us the flexibility to search in the way that I'm going to be showing you. So what I'm going to be showing you how we can search websites, HTML source codes, and I'm going to be showing you exactly how we can use this to our advantage as well. So for this example, we're not or for this video, we're not going to be focusing on Google, Yahoo and Bing. Instead, we're going to be looking at a new website or a website that I've recently come across called public www.com. Now, the cool thing about this website, guys, is that it allows you to perform searches based on the actual source code. So it's actually a search engine for source code. OK, and it actually has a free plan and it has a paid for plan as well. I'm using the free plan and I want to be showing you exactly the kind of limitations we get with the free plan as well. But it is still really, really cool. OK, and one thing that I want to bring out and point to your attention or bring to your attention is that it's not going to be as big as Google, Yahoo and Bing. Um, it, it has a limited database, um, but it does get updated frequently. So as you can see, we saw got millions of sites in there um, and it gets updated fairly frequently. So it's actually been about six days since it's been updated on here. So the cool thing about this website or, or this website, guys, is let's just read a few of these notes down here. It allows you to search any HTML, JavaScript, CSS and plain text in a web page source code. It allows you to search sites that are using the same Google Analytics ID so then you can actually find out what other sites these websites have. It allows you to search based on platforms like WordPress, e-commerce sites and you know Joomla, Zencar and what not you as well. It allows you to search for you know um, a user's AdSense publisher ID so you can find out if other if somebody's really big on AdSense and you want to find out what other websites they've got and making a revenue from, then this will allow you to narrow down them kind of sites. If you want to find out what kind of themes or sorry, if you want to find out what websites are using the exact same theme, then these are the kind of searches that um, a search engine for HTML or source codes would allow you to perform. So anyway, I'm going to show you how we can use all of these to our advantage and how we can get really clever with this. Um, towards the bottom of this, as you can see, we've got a number of searches that this has already made for us. You've got popular searches, you've got engines based on WordPress, Drupal, WooCommerce, Recapture, vBulletin, you've got frameworks based on Bootstraps, jQuery, Cloudflare. Okay, you've got counters, Google Analytics, Stat Counters, Quantcast, HitStats, um, and you can actually click on any one of these. We'll have a look at some of these and then we'll have a look and see how we can make our own as well. So from here, we can see top AdSense publishers. Okay. Okay, so these are mostly come from the top AdSense publishers that have maybe been searched for um, or what not you. And the reason I'm saying this is because some of these only have eight websites um, that this has actually found. Um, so anyway, because we've got the free account, it's only revealed one on this occasion and it's hidden all the other ones down here. Okay, but some of them you actually find hundreds and thousands, guys. So let's have a look at this one. So this one's actually got 64, 643 websites that are using this publisher ID. And straight away we can find um, a good keyword down here or something to target cute puppy love okay and when you actually find some really cool websites guys and it's really really cool so I mean check this now 1799 websites are using this publisher ID and you know what we can do we can actually download these and I can show you how they look okay so and we can sh and I can actually show you how many this is how this has gotten us with the free account so as you can see we're coming up to 500 oh okay 486 um, websites this has given us um, that's using exactly the same publisher ID um, I mean if you have a look up and down here cycle forum kite crowd um, Kawasaki forum vault forums um, classified something classified two wheel forum it looks like this guy's got loads and loads of forums that he's using um, his AdSense ID on um, and you know what it might be a really good way to narrow down and find communities you know forums are all about communities um, and you might be able to find some really cool um, communities and you know niches that you can actually target so okay anyway let's take a look and have a look and see what else we can do here as well so this is one thing that you can do down here guys and you've got loads of publisher IDs down here that you can come and explore um, now the idea is obviously if you knew somebody that's already doing really great on AdSense and you knew what their publisher ID was and you wanted to be a bit nosy and you wanted to find out what other websites are actually generating them cash um, then you can do that as well I mean look at this one this one's got hub pages hub pages hub pages so this one's using hub pages 
loads and loads on hub pages um, to make money um, using AdSense. So that's a really cool way of finding this out as well, guys. Okay, so anyway, let's have a look at some more things that we can do down here as well. Um, you can have a look at frameworks, sorry, engines like WordPress, and you can narrow things down to the actual version of WordPress. So let's have a look at for real old um, legacy version of WordPress so this one's a real old version it's got 592 websites you know what you could do you could probably get in contact with these websites first of all confirm that these are these websites are actually using this version of WordPress get in contact with them and say hang on you know what you're actually using a version of WordPress that's very very exploitable um, and you know what we can put it right for you um, you know with whatever offer you want to actually offer them so anyway, this was one thing that you can do as well. Um, and it's really cool because, so let's, let's say for example, you had, uh, for example, let's have a look at this one here, Stack Counter. Okay, now let's say you had a website. So this one's actually showing us 1 million or 100,000 websites. Okay, and if you, had a, if you had a service that was similar to Stack Counter, but it was totally, totally better than Stack Counter, for example, and you wanted, to put, you wanted to be in a position to start some marketing campaigns, then this is how you could do it. You could go and look for websites that are already using something similar and say, well, you know what, we got something 10 times better and we're gonna do you such a deal on this um, that you know what, you're not going to be able to refuse it or, or however you want. I'm just trying to give you some examples um, on how you can use um, source code searching. Okay, so this is one one way to do it. But what I want to do is I want to actually give you an example of my own as well. Okay, so for this example, I've come over to WordPress. And with WordPress, as you know, you've got the plugin directory. And with the plugin directory, guys, um, you know what, you can actually make your own footprints up to track and get um, plugins that have been downloaded by thousands and thousands of users. Um, so this is what I did here. I found this um, um, plugin here, OnePress Social Locker. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how we can actually use this now um, to narrow down and find out exactly how we can narrow down the sites that are using this. And and at the same time, you're going to be able to be in a position um, to know exactly who's using the social locker on their website. And if you had something similar that was better or something, then you know what, you can actually market to them as well. So this is the area here from the content is locked. I can right click on here and I can view the page source. Um, oops, sorry, I don't want to view the page source. What I want to do is I want to right click on here and click on inspect element. And as you can see, this is automatically highlighted ONP hyphen SL. So what I'll do is I'll actually go to the source now. Okay, ONP, and we'll do a search for ONP. Okay, so here we go. Straight away, we come over to the div ONP locker call. So this is actually the this is the actual call that's getting taken place. So what we can do here inside of this search engine is we can actually do a search for this. Okay, what we'll do is we'll actually wrap this up in in quotes. Okay, so we've got now six hundred and thirty six websites that we know that are using. Um, the social locker plugin um, and this actually allows you to go and contact these websites as well with your own um, f you know offer or your own plugin or whatever you got as well um, and you can actually see what websites are actually using this as well I mean check this one out the best spinner co we can click this and we can visit these websites as well um, okay this actually looks like it's um, an affiliate offer um, that's promoting the best spinner um, got a pretty cool name there the best spinner um, co um, so anyway yeah so this is how this will work um, and here as you can see this is the content locker area here I can right click this again if I want and I can click on view um, I can click on inspect element and as you can see we've got this here and you can actually reveal data from this as well just got to find the hidden tag um, here we go ONP SL content style display equals none I could change this to block here Okay, and make the edits directly to my browser. And as you can see, this has revealed the link for me. I can click on the link and I can reveal all of the data, which would have otherwise taken me a like or a share or something to reveal that data. Um, so anyway, I don't recommend you doing this and finding out all the sites that are actually using this website or that are using this plugin and reveal all their data uh, because that's just not going to be fair. Um, however, I just wanted to show you this example to show you exactly how clever you can get with um, when how clever you can get when searching um, for 
um, you, you know, um, when you're searching through source codes. Um, so anyway, I really hope you enjoy this video and um, I really hope you can take away something from this. And if you're actually using HTML or if you know other ways in which you can actually search the source code um, using search engines, then please do share them with us in a comment below or something um, because you know what, we'll all be able to um, share and learn off each other's findings. So thank you very much.